in the past I had the issues printing this very flat and wide model uh, for the tablet holder which glues to the glass window, glass doors in the meeting room which holds the meeting uh, room booking system in the tablet, in an Android tablet and the problem were that it would uh, bend the corners uh, while printing so I resolved it by adding uh, these uh, round uh, uh, corners which snaps really easily so I do it like this and it snaps so easily it's a uh, double layer you see it's perpendicular to one another these layers so and it it holds so much better um, the other trick I had to do is when I designed this model I I had to uh, make these cavities uh, holes space for the double-sided uh, uh, sticker so it sticks to here and then the other edge extends a little bit above this surface and it sticks to the glass doors so, so then we can stick all this holder to the door um, like the glass window next to the doors of the meeting room and uh, yeah so the issue was that this layers this layer has to to be above the uh, sports so it wouldn't uh, glue uh, like layers wouldn't glue to each other so that it fix the hack uh, which worked for me was that I modeled this cavity and then I modeled a uh, two layer thick or actually it was one layer thick uh, um, uh, object which uh, I imported to the uh, process slicer as uh, a modifier and then I made it made that this uh, layer above uh, the support has to be um, uh, maybe twice as thick like uh, instead of 0 0.45 millimeters it was uh, 0 0.65 millimeters so then so this is like it would print like this so above um, uh, the extrusion was wider so it would glue the layer below so this layer is now very very well glued so this is how I made this fairly difficult model to print very uh, nicely um, yeah so it's with supports so yeah so these are supports you can see um, the first layer is super perfect and, um, and there is this removes fairly easy so it's difficult to film and uh, yeah and, uh, and and do the um, undo it. Once again, okay, maybe I should uh, switch hands from left. Yeah, so this, this is how the supports look like, <clears throat> and yeah, and this used to be very loose, and now it's it's very sturdy. 
also to remove this um, to remove this uh, support so I'm using this uh, spackle blade I don't know how it's called but uh, but it, I have sharpened the one edge on it um, and one, one side is flat so I would use it like this uh, um, and then I would use it like that on this edge I would go around it would go so in this side okay so this side is not uh, hollow so this one is easier I know so it can kind of go around this and loosen it and then I would pull it out easily. I will do that with my both hands and will show you how I destruct it. So once I go around this uh, to all the corners so I can basically hmm. these supports out like this and it's kind of it moves fairly easy yeah okay maybe it was the easiest pull that because uh, I got it full uh, square yeah, and then I would need to clean these. This is the gap for the camera. So camera bump slides in here. So yeah, I need to take this. So the, these supports don't. I would say super super easy. And that's the benefit of using the great um, quality filament. Filament has to be of the super high quality. I'm using the Fusa um, Fusament by Joseph Fusa. So this is a uh, it has 0 0.013 millimeter tolerance. The thickness is pretty consistent. And uh, in this uh, Prosa Galaxy Black PLA looks super great when it's printed. Uh, the back of the of the like uh, of the the back of this holder is very not shiny, so I'll clean it up these things and uh, yeah. So basically, this is how you 3D print this uh, very difficult to print model. Um, there are two hacks I had to invent: those corners these ones and this uh, layer thick uh, width adjustment hack for these supports to stick it's it's really it's really worked very well